There you go. I just turned the camera on. So, are you coming? Sorry about the mix-up. Are you going to no, you're I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, this is the Wednesday, April 3rd, 2019. Uh, Council on Aging Board meeting. It's 9.30 a.m. and we are being recorded. So we'll call the meeting to order. Open time for the public. No one's here. Approval of March minutes. I had a couple corrections, Lori. I just caught last night. Sorry. Okay. I think I want to get up. Yep. Yeah. So I can make the corrections. As you know, we're on a tight schedule today. So. Okay. Go. Um, yes. Underneath um, old new business about the, the Martha's presentation from the assessor's office. Oh, the one I asked you about. Yeah, it, yeah, it's, and maybe I, it's actually chapter 59, not chapter 41C, chapter 59, section five, clause 41C. Oh, see, that was not oh, very involved. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, just to correct, I want it to be accurate, though, that's all. Okay, well done. And then so what, are, what else did you say? Chapter 59. Chapter 59, Section 5, Clause 41C. I'm sorry, it just takes me so much time. No, I have it written here, Laurie, too, if you. Okay, Section what? Section 5. And then clause 41C. 41C. Yes, okay. and Thank it's you. an exemption, not an abatement. Senior exemption, not a senior abatement. We may have called it an abatement by mistake, but correct it for the record. Okay. So women that go to the state basement. Thank you. Anybody else have any additional corrections? Oh, or changes or updates or additions, subtractions. Do we have a motion? Make a motion that we accept the minutes with the corrections made. Second. Second. Any additional discussion? All in well, favor? You, Catherine, you can't second because you weren't here. Oh, that's right. That has to be a people on the Thank you. Do we have another second? I'll second. Thank Something you. Else second. Okay. <laughs> All in favor? Thanks. Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks, Laurie. Thank you. Okay. And remember I said to you the other day, I can't find the information from Martha, so I don't know what I'm supposed to be right, writing. Right. And then as I'm listening to the minutes, she collected everything. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I was late. I was frantically looking in the house. Where is that handout? Where is the handout? Mm -hmm. Okay, so friends, Laurie, do you can yeah, you report I did. on the friends because Kay Yep, yep, I did. I took notes. This time I took notes. All I got to do now is find them. Okay. So the friends had a meeting yesterday. Uh, and just as we were starting, Richard came through the door. So everybody was all excited mm -hmm. to see Richard again. And um, How's Joe, he walking? Good? He feels good. Good. Um, he said he's, he's feeling good. Great. He has an appointment April 10th, right? Okay. Yeah, we don't have to go there. Yeah. Well, just... <laughs> <laughs> um, so they he'll be back the following, the week of... Right. We can say his return week, though. The week of, what is that? The 15th. The 15th, yes. Okay. Yeah. They did a uh, recap of the March luncheon. Um, Everybody was pleased, except for the entertainment. Um, they talked about a dehumidifier, upping the dehumidifier for the office, or getting a dehumidifier for the office. The thought was maybe to use the old one in the office and get a new one for the, a bigger one for the, the main room, but we do need something. Uh, next year, the people who receive the newsletter you know, five dollars a year for the newsletter. That will be up to seven dollars. Um, Rini just told me, and I'm so glad that I asked you about that. That she would like to speak in October. So, oh I, boy, <laughs> I just you. booked the lawyer, uh, an elder care lawyer, the elder elder yeah, care elder lawyer. lawyer. I mean, if you, I mean, I can do whatever. But I thought that you had already had on the agenda. 
the folks from Holyoke Medical Center, like the president. And so stuff. the president is coming, and yep. they're bringing a cake. Mm -hmm. And uh, I talked to Kathy this morning. She said they were going to. He he does a 15 minute overview, and then he does a dialogue. Mm -hmm. So technically, he would probably have a half an hour. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if it's overkill if you want to do, they did say they didn't want to have multiple speakers at the program, so I don't know. if it, Does the 12th not work for you anyway? Actually, it does not, because okay. um, anybody that wants to go to the Soldier's Home has to do a presentation on the 12th, oh. and so I'm booked anyway. Yeah, sure. I just okay. thought that you already had people, and well, we did have somebody that was already on the schedule. Right, no, we did have, and I thought you were connected with Holyoke Medical. I, I am. am. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. So we're good. We'll, okay. we'll work out another day, maybe a Wednesday well, or something. Either that or move him until November. Who the? The young the law. Oh, the elder law? Yeah, because November was right. still Right. Is that open. November is open. Which elder law do, uh, person are you bringing in? I don't know. I want to say his name's Tim, but I, I don't okay. have the paperwork in front of me. So Yeah. Is that the email we got? Yeah. If we can shift him, and then we can put Rini in in October. Okay. Yeah, just give me the date. And um, usually the only date the that October the 11th. Okay. Um, the, um, or or November if you want to come for November. No, October okay. would be great. Okay. Um, and I can do it really any day. All right. So I'll I'll work on that. <laughs> can you just let me know the date? I would certainly know that it would be yeah October 11th. 11th. Is date. Yeah. Is that a Wednesday or a Friday? It's Friday. a Friday. Okay. Yeah, it's always Friday. And we'll be eating chicken. I believe. Sounds good. But they did speak highly of having speakers and information versus music, and music is so expensive. So right, and we did say for the speakers we could give them a free meal maybe to compensate them coming. You know, if, if people wanted that. So, um, all right. So we've resolved that issue. Um, spring fashion show and tea party is scheduled Make for, room for Josie. Uh, <laughs> Josie has arrived. Josie and I are on the same schedule. Just don't wake us up too early. <laughs> so the spring fashion show and tea party is scheduled for Thursday, April 25th. Uh, luncheons will remain at $10. The tag sale is May 17th to 18th. Is that right? Yeah. Or whatever, the Friday and Saturday, I think it's 17th. Yeah, 17th. Yeah, it's the 19th. Yeah. Okay. So the, they talked about um, setup. Well, that's and And um, that's always a big success, the tag sale. Except last year because it was the 19th and it was the big wedding in London. Mm. So oh. the people, <laughs> yes. I people was my invitation. I do too. <laughs> and I kept telling the bingo people I was invited because it was my wedding anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> so they were surprised to see me still around on the 19th of May. Yeah, it's the 17th and 18th. Okay. And then we, um, there was discussion about um, the needs of uh, the seniors and what can be done. Any new ideas and um, transportation, and there was a suggestion made that I let it go out to the realtors, local realtors, to see if they would be available to transport on certain occasions. Okay. Yeah. It was a good meeting, and they were all set for next Friday. It's luncheon which will be fish, mac and cheese, uh, what else we Cold have? Coleslaw. Coleslaw. I never remember that. And, a, ca and a cake from Hoyoke Medical Center. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. okay. Did they talk about the survey at all? I know we talked about yes, it in our the, planning um, meeting. So. Before the meeting ended, um, I asked, would they think about, do they have any suggestions? Mm -hmm what would go on down on the survey. And we know transportation is going to be number one. Yep. But we also did comment, uh, and it, I'm sure everybody has seen it on the news, that the PVTA is having funding problems. Mm -hmm. So we can just about cross them off the list. Yep. Um, and regarding transportation, before I forget, I have a message in regarding the liability issues we brought up last. I don't have an answer for you yet, Nilda, for the volunteer um, drivers. So uh, that's still 
an active discussion, so I haven't forgotten. We mentioned that it would be just as if you had a passenger in your car, it would be, you know, it's not, and it's not a daily thing, it's an on occasion thing, right. so it's, if you were doing it daily, like an Uber driver or somebody, they would have to have extra insurance. Well, this is more for the liability of, from a driver's record, whether the, oh, town, right, the right. town wants to um, right. get a driving record yeah. for it. Or just get a disclaimer, so. Okay, um, great, thank you. Directors and volunteer report. Let me get a copy. I forgot to put this in my thing. Sure. I, I hope forgot I put the flow on the back. I don't think I did. To my hard drive. Does everybody have flows? I'm sorry. I okay. usually put flows on the back. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you. you Sorry. Send it out. Yeah. It was, it was sent yeah, it was out. Sent out. It was sent out. Yeah. Those are. Those. I should get rid of these now before I leave them. So. Do you need a copy oh, of the flows okay. also? Oh, you got that. No, that's okay. No, I'm okay no. without. Can I get another one for? Because we need to remember to copy Rini on anything we you send can, out. You can take one and pass them along. This is um, a ticket to the T for each board member. Um, we want you to come and see what our activities are are happening here. It was a very well attended and good event in October, so we've decided to do. I don't know if we can duplicate it, but try it again in, in the spring. So um, I'm out of town, COVID. unfortunately. You're out of town. Flying back that day, so yeah. I'm still in the air. Flying out that day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, don't take it. Do you have something else? We'll save it for somebody else. Thank you. Yeah, here. Thank you. No, say yes. Say I don't want to be holding on to that. Darn. That's I had a good time at the last person. Oh, you bad planners with All right. I know. Come on. Um, oh. So anyway, uh, March um, was a good month. We had a lot of... I passed mine to Rain. <laughs> this is not a good seat. This is so good. It. <laughs> you got to work, Melda. Come on. I shoveled. I started over there. I moved over there. <laughs> Do you want to come okay. back here? Would you like to see? I don't like that chair. That's what, that's why I moved this one. Uh, some of the highlights of the month, I know, obviously it's in front of you. But, um, the, the trips are, are signing up uh, fast and furious, so I'm very fortunate for that. Um, that's great. Yeah, the, the one to uh, the Thimble Islands is almost full. Um, and so we, and we've got um, sign-ups for all the other trips. Uh, we had CARE 1 which um, we've made a nice connection with. I want to call her Julie, but I'm, I don't I think I have the name right. So anyway, the, her picture and the uh, story will be in the main newsletter. But um, they have three um, occasions with us. They brought beef stew uh, on the 27th. Uh, it was very nicely presented. It was in these to-go containers with a biscuit, and they had these lovely cookies, and um, their chef came all decked out in his chef gear and hat, and, uh, you know, to, and I, they passed out some paperwork and some free water bottles, and uh, it, was a, it was a nice affair. Nothing we had to do. They just showed up with all the hot food and distributed it, and it was really good. It was delicious. Um, yeah, it was very good. It's, and it was free. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't have to go get it. The price was right. Yeah, the price was right. They're also doing a yogurt parfait and fruit um, at the end of April. And they're also doing a silks painting scarf uh, workshop in May. Ooh. So, yeah, that's interesting. So, I mean, they were all offered to us, so we're taking What's advantage this of it. Care One, it's a, it's a nursing it's the old facility. College. Oh, all right. So they have, I guess they have a certain amount of money for marketing. And so now, are all these other things going to be free? Uh, I believe so, yes. <laughs> they also own the place at the top of the hill right on Southampton Road. That um, facility that's on the top of the hill. Yes. I have not been there, but I probably oh, should okay. take it to Okay, turn it. off onto the... Right. Yes. And on 141? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And the Redstone in one minute. Redstone, right. Um, our, our second square dance was very successful. You can ask Nelda if she had a good time. Did you have a good time? <laughs> a lot of smiles, a lot of fun. Do we have the a video of it? Of it we do yeah. have a video. <laughs> did, did you get a release from it? <laughs> I didn't show it, I just said I have a video. <laughs> um, actually, I showed my brother and his wife um, they did a round dance demonstration, uh, that was and good. Uh, it was beautiful yeah, yeah. and made me cry. 
mm -hmm. because she's struggling with cancer. And, oh. uh, yeah, and they've only been married two years. <gasps> yeah, so it's it's a it's a they're they're a great couple, and um, I'm so glad they come here. They're both retired, so they can come here. Uh -huh. um, let's see what else is going on. Oh, the ballroom dance. I was a little. Um, I wished we could get some Southampton people to come to the dance. The music is exquisite. Um, it's um, Richie Mitnick. So I don't know if I'm not marketing it good enough. We had 18 to 20 people, but not one person from Southampton. Oh, so here I, at this facility? Yeah. yeah. Wow. So Richie brings his own group, the people that follow him. It's on his website. So okay. his dancers follow him. Wherever he's playing, they'll come and dance. So, um, and it was a lot of fun, and I got to do the rumba and things I don't get to do very often. So. How does that work without a partner? So, there are some people. Good question. There, there is yeah. a lot of, they did a lot of line dancing, believe it or not. I was part of the, the line dance. They must have done at least eight line dances. Because that may be the part that yeah, people that's hesitate what, that's to what come. really, because yeah. I've asked. So maybe I need and, to advertise uh, that line dancers and singles are welcome. Yeah. 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 So you just have to have, because when I've done lessons, you, you don't necessarily have a partner, but you, you rotate, mix up, yeah. yeah, you rotate, and whoever you it's land, like speed you. speed dating at Tony and Stanton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I wasn't speed dating in those days. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah. so that's, that's but you're right. The ballroom dances normally the, they have a partner, so I could I get would scare people away. I've asked, um, but, but nobody yeah, wants yeah. to do it. No, yeah. we I have can't this, get my husband to do it. We have no. this one oh, no, woman. No she's been here twice. I can't think of her first name. Lovely lady. I guess she used to have a blow-up doll that she would dance with, <laughs> but she didn't bring it this time. Maybe I should ask her to bring it. So oh, we can no. That's <laughs> <That's nice>. No. <laughs> Anybody ever see the movie Lars and the Real Girl? No. <laughs> That's hysterical. Anyway, does anyone have any oh, We, we yeah. met with um, Ed, Ed about our purchases, and maybe that's on our agenda as well, so we'll go well, that. We, we can actually talk about it now, because it really should be part of the... So there's three months to spend <clears throat> our money. Can I, I, I did a quick, Joan and I kind of brainstormed a little bit, so we, we did a list of things that we could use potentially um, to wrap up the expenditures, and I just think it's good that we talk about it as a board and... We, we're so great. What a great, there's more coming the other direction. What a great sure. position to be in is to have, you know, unfortunately our facility hasn't grown, so we can't expand a lot, but to have this earmark fund um, that we can't use for salaries, that would be the other option, but it's not, none of these grants are salary driven typically. So uh, these are some of the things that we are looking at. Do you want to? Touch base on them. Um, so we anyway, know about the pickleball. And we um, we've kind of uh, turned uh, a, a new direction, or we're looking at. A, I think we talked about it before. Uh, a faucet, a sprayer faucet for the the sink. We're looking at a, a new refrigerator. We're looking at. Um, uh, we were looking at air, um, a water purifier. The pickleball, we've learned, has a lot of um, pieces to it. Um, that was suggested, like she said, the screening, uh, having benches there so people could rest. So the um, 15,000 just includes the nets, the balls and paddles, and probably the lines for the courts. It doesn't include the windscreens, the bench kind of a cover. So somebody said to me, well, what, when people are waiting to play, is there some place for them to sit? As, and as seniors, it's probably an important thing. And is it shady? And if you've been to the tennis courts, that would be a no. It's not mm -hmm. shady. So just some things to think about. And I need to get to the parks, because again, it kind of falls under their domain. But we can certainly invest for the seniors and how we're going to use it. So, I don't but, know. But also, um, this money could be spent by community preservation. It could be for, yes. But the good news is that we have it to spend mm -hmm. and without ha being able to expend a facility. I mean, if it gets to be too much that we, we are over budget, then we will definitely go to yeah, community preservation. Yeah, but just keep in mind, we just spent, the town just spent a million I, dollars I, I understand for, for their labrie labrie fields, fields for yes. the youngsters in town. I mean, I think there'd be complete and total support 
uh, for use of community preservation funds for a bench for seniors to sit down. We'll they absolutely them. would. So we'll, maybe we'll get two. We'll get one from us, or we get the benches from them if we don't have enough. We, we yeah, I mean, there's a record of the numbers. Dollar yeah. amount, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I'm aware of that. And again, when you have $5,500, if we come up with other ideas to absorb the $5,500, mm -hmm. that's great because between the state formula grant, we're just in a unique position this year that we have. That we're a little flushed, but it's the only year that we're going to ever be that way. So. Jean, I'm a little confused. Okay. Are we talking about 5500 5500 yes. Then where's the 15000 coming Oh, I'm sorry. That should be 1500 Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah, that's kind of hefty. We really went all out with people. Good, good, good pick up, Lori. <laughs> well, I was going to ask why they didn't have that so much. I got trigger happy last yeah, year. You know, I'm really sorry. For, those, or the, for, the, for the pick up on that. Pick up all those and balls the lines. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah and Ed suggested training too. We have a training. Yeah, so I added group lessons classes. to the bottom yeah. and. We have somebody that will volunteer to do the training. The, the, the ambassador also will hold um, classes. Yeah, I saw that email. That's great. Yeah, that was that's, that's <clears> exciting. <throat> and um, so, the, I mean, if we go over budget, things like the windscreens and the bench. I mean, if we don't have the funds to do that or the time to do it in this year, then we would definitely go to community preservation and try to get something. Are there other baseball. benches in town? At I the corner on High are, Street, yeah, up by the parking lot at Conan, there are benches. Yeah, I know. Uh, I think the the benches on High Street. I think they were, they may have been paid for by a donation. Yeah. yeah, somebody in town, but the town put them in though. And that would have been. Yeah, they have beautiful in all metal benches or whatever. Yeah. We could get even for the walking club to have one somewhere. That's what uh, I was thinking. Yeah, you mm -hmm. have a lot of people walking now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, that would, be, uh, you know, yeah. that would be good for community preservation. I had a comment, uh, and I think it was the news in, in the minutes, and I didn't say anything. Um, that refrigerator was, it's not 17 years old. It's, I think it's like seven. We haven't been in there. No, so, the, that refrigerator came from the basement when we were in the basement. I thought it was when Margaret Walden bought it, it, which I remember the conversation, it was dented and was sort of a second, uh, you know, sort of the, what do they call second those? Hand. No, not second hand, when they, they floor so, it's a second, yeah, 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 second that's yeah, floor So, um, and that's why it was white and, you know, it had a dent. Yeah. No, so. it was, they checked with Jennifer. That was the refrigerator that was in the original senior center in the basement. You might want to check with Vicki, because Vicki says she pulled up. Well, what's the, the difference? If we're going to get a refrigerator in. Well, anyhow. but seven to 17 years is a big it's difference. A, well, that's a big difference. It's that's a big difference. Go into the, oh, yeah, the, yeah, we're actually going to move that into the break room. room. Yeah, yeah so it's room. not going to just disappear. It's going to stay. But oh. seven years is still, I mean, 17 is a ridiculous amount of time. Right, I mean, right, I've right, had right, refrigerators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the life yeah. of the refrigerator. Yeah, yeah we've had, yeah. well, we have the money to do this. I think right. it's just yeah. important. <clears throat> but it could be true that, that when we moved into the into that space seven years ago, that, that maybe they upgraded something. We should. Okay, that's my recommendation. Yeah. Yep. OK, Any, anything else? Oh, and the formula grant, I did uh, already order the card tables that okay. we had gotten uh, 10 or a dozen card tables from the church and bringing them back and forth, which is not a major deal, but I think the card tables will um, promote some other card games and smaller games, and it does take up a little bit of space. I may have to get a table carrier like we have for the round tables, but just to change up the space and to use it, um, and again, we had the money for that, so uh, I, did pr I did already order those. Should be in soon. Excellent. And what was that? What, what did that come out to? Um, so it was closer to four hundred. I was, okay. uh, was like, uh, yeah, thirty dollars a table plus. And a few. This is to generate discussion. So if there's other things, you know, that the board feels we're overlooking, we want. That's why it's here to to get your feedback and input and readings and. We still have to look into the Tai Chi. That was going to be yeah. an instructor, so we'll, yeah. I, we'll, in earnest, we have to get his name. And we did make one contact. I think he was in Florida or, or away at the time. Right. So I'm sorry, being late, but um, 
the dopa fit has started and mm -hmm. how's that going? So it, there was one day where he did not show up and I didn't check my email. So the class was there and, and he was ill. So anyway, uh, so he owes us one more class. But um, we have had um, three or two of with him. Three with him. Three. I think. Three. This is week four. Okay, week four. Um, I think, I, I'm not part of the class, Darlene is, so she would speak better to it, but uh, Lori and Nilda are part of the class. I, I know he's doing a, a personal portfolio for each of you, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure how that all works. Uh, I did hear from Darlene, she feels much stronger than she did, and she's lost some weight on purpose, she, she's right. been dieting, but she felt as she was doing some kind of housework or something, she goes, I, I couldn't do some of that before, she feels her core, core muscles are stronger, so um, whoever's taking the class, I'm sure is benefiting from it, that's hot. And he's covering um, a lot of things that um, Healthy Bones covers and um, and because I've had PT for balance, um, a lot of that has been included. It's been beneficial. Great. He's a great teacher, you know. And we're continuing that? It's only for six weeks. Yeah. So and I he'll think be done this month. Yeah. And and as you may may or may not have heard, he's his wife's having a baby this uh, month, so we'll have to see how that all comes about. But we we've, we've already invoiced his two of his classes through to the grant. So yeah, he comes in from Worcester, so oh, yeah, and she's wow. due on the twenty second. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah oh my goodness. goodness. Yeah, she's going to St. Vincent's in wow. Worcester. Wow. So who's we doing the? Very concerned about this baby. The, uh, <laughs> he he does it. Sure he so that. he comes in every day for that. I guess I, I no, never I questioned right. him. Must. He just told us that last week, and we said, "Wow." I knew his, ex um, you know, the her fo the phone, what area code was not familiar. What's your? Five hundred eight. Yeah, five hundred eight. The only other thing I was <clears throat> wondering about, it seems like there's a lot of program, physical programming and also social programming, but the whole professional sort of arena is very focused on cognitive changes, dementia, you know, not, you know, like particularly around memory and safety and things like that. And I just didn't know if we've had anybody, occupational therapists are wonderful when it comes to um, sort of do you have any recommendations, Nancy? Mm -hmm. But um, it just seems to me that that's we're getting a lot of information. I mean, the, the incidence of dementia is increasing pretty dramatically. How would that work? How, if we were wanted to set up a program like that, which sounds well, like a great idea, but how would that work? It would work be somebody that has an expertise in. Um, I mean, Sam, you talk to this, but it's somebody that would have an exper expertise in strategies uh, that help <coughs> with support. calendars, me memory, um, just a lot of the things that uh, people sort of trip up on. Julie from Arnbrook did come and did a, like a luncheon uh, yeah. talk. And Arnbrook, I don't know if they have a memory care unit or not. They do. They do. Yeah. So, uh, and I think maybe it was geared more to nutrition and memory, you know, things yeah. like that. But um, very important. Yeah. Um, if we could find somebody that was. So more on an ongoing basis, not a one time speaker you're referring to. Yeah, I'm just thinking about people that we've had in the past that have had, um, you know, decline cognitively. Uh, an occupational therapist would go out. They would help them set up calendars. They would help them sort of with the organization. I mean, OTs help people to um, adapt or um, adjust to their environment. And so this is more from a standpoint of how they go about their day, how they, you know, can remember things to be safe, whether it's appointments or. Um, and that's a home visit versus an in-house Yeah, I mean, class. most of the time that I've been familiar with it, it's been people that have an expertise in um, occupational therapists, and they go in as a consultation for someone who's already on service, like on the BNA. But I'm sure there are people, and I can keep my eye open and ask around to see if there are uh, speakers. Um, I mean, it's just strategies uh, that, you know, help people to... Yeah, we have, a, we have an expert, actually, in our department. Yeah, so and can I you explain better than I do about what they what they what they, <laughs> what they were doing to help people with? She's an occupational therapist. PT, okay. but not OT. Um, she's got a lot of experience working with folks with dementia and Alzheimer's, so she would be actually really great. 
Yeah. So I can reach out. And if we could tap into her and maybe have a mm -hmm. some strategy sessions ourselves or with Joan or yeah, and you know. it's usually helpful with family members. I know that's you know, the, so and that's usually that, not during the day. Yeah, that's why we're right. But we talked about sometimes. having a, an evening or early evening, uh, and it could be a support group. It could be you know family members. It could be family members with their the, their client, the person mm -hmm. that has the um, dementia. I mean, they have um, what's that coffee? They have a coffee house. It's um, I think it's. Um, Oh, Armbrook had it for a while, but anyway, it's for Alzheimer's folks. And actually, they would it would be more like a daycare, which we're not really yeah. set up for. We don't have the staffing yeah. for. Um, I just think it's good to focus on wellness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, wellness um, and quality of life, quality of life, mm -hmm. more prevention. I mean, it's just like it's a different angle mm -hmm. on how to you know manage your day, time, events, mm -hmm. people. And keeping people home, keeping right people right. in right. the right. community, it's important. And it's I mean, we can talk on that and see how we can mm -hmm. also <coughs> market it within town because I think the hardest part is getting the people to attend. And we can always do an after hours thing, mm -hmm. after our hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah great. Yeah. Go ahead. I was just going to comment that Jen, I would say five or six years ago, did a dementia program with the dementia group. Mm -hmm. That was the one that was in connection with East Hampton. And she brought in like 40 people. Wow. So their interest is there. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I've reached that wonderful age of 80. I'm very conscious of dementia. And, you know, I'm always reading tips on how to stay brain active. So I think something like that mm -hmm. would be very beneficial. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that I think, um, a lot of people are running into this age group here is caregiving. Mm -hmm. um, you know, unless you've been, and you've been there, and older, I've been there, uh, if, when you've been a caregiver, you just don't imagine the toll it takes on that person. Mm -hmm. You know, the emphasis is always on the person who's ill. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. One of the things that, I mean, even when I was with the uh, children, adoption and foster care, one of the things that we always felt was important for the parents was to give them that break, that respite. Mm -hmm. And I think with, with the families that are helping at any level with mm -hmm. loved ones, that's really a very important component. It's valuable time because they feel lonely. Yeah. Yeah, so. So as financially, um, I mean, we don't have any money for personnel, but um, if we can have it, get people to mm -hmm. somewhat donate time and stuff. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, all these grants say no salaries, and right. I mean, not the state form left so much, but the, the earmark was clear. Um, if there's people that would donate their time to do a presentation, and we can talk about the 40 people that were on Jen's list and some of the strategies she did to pull them in. Right. Well, also, if there were enough people interested in doing some caregiving, mm -hmm. you know, like our volunteer list, mm -hmm. but to provide them with the training, so right. we could provide the training for them, perhaps, um, but, you know, they wouldn't just volunteer to give their time to do some sort of interim, mm -hmm. even a few hours. Mm -hmm. I know when my sister's husband was... Um, dying just to get somebody to come in for two hours mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. uh, was such a relief for her she could go to the store mm -hmm. you know schedule a doctor's appointment mm -hmm. things like that so but you need somebody who's trained mm -hmm. right I mean, right. you just can't have yeah, anybody yeah. and I'm not sure a couple hour training classes it's gonna have to be an ongoing kind of yeah. training to get people qualified. Yeah, I mean, that's that's something certainly um, we dealt a lot with at Emerson Hospital, and I think there is, and I hope I'm not being crass here, there's a huge difference between somebody dying mm -hmm. and taking somebody sitting with them for a few hours, being with them, versus somebody with dementia. Mm -hmm. Dementia, I mean, you have many, many levels, and uh, there's some great strategies out there uh, for prevention, like puzzles and what have you, reading. Uh, but there's also uh, some things that people really have to know when you are with dementia patients. Their whole world can be turned upside down. 
you know, it, it, rather than fight somebody not to fix, say, breakfast at 2 a.m. in the morning, guess what? Help them fix it. I mean, there's just a lot of strategies with the different levels of dementia, mm -hmm. a lot of strategies. And the care has changed uh, 100, uh, 180 on mm -hmm. how to take care of people with dementia from even 10, 15 years ago. Right. And Europe is very different than over yeah. here. Very different. And I think that um, there are so many environmental strategies. Like I know people always think of the scatter rugs and things like that, but really the number of uh, environmental tips for dementia mm -hmm. is like uh, incredible. So I think it'll be very inter I think people would be very interested. Yeah. I'll keep my eyes open and I'll also ask. Okay. Even if they're not dealing with it presently, there's a right, curiosity right, right. because everybody's concerned. Oh, yeah. did I lose my keys again? And you know, yeah. they kind of make jokes about yeah, it. The dog took them. <laughs> but uh, you know, it could be, and it does creep up. I yeah. mean, yeah. You know. Well, in terms of a training, I mean, we're, we've got how much? Six weeks, four weeks, whatever it is for the dopa fit. You could schedule some sort of a, a training program over mm -hmm. a period mm -hmm. of weeks. Mm -hmm. um, just about. And and so. we're not we're paying him for his services. He's not salaried, so we could probably work out some arrangement if necessary. I mean, I don't know that, you know. Well, we wouldn't want to have anybody on salary. That presents a whole no. different. No, yeah. no, no. 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 But that we paid him for the classes. Right. So if somebody yeah, comes yeah, and yeah. delivers classes, yeah, yeah. we would just still, you know, right. what is the yeah. fee for that? Right. And, and I think, it, you know, on on my observation about this program, uh, the dub with it is that it's restrictive. You know, he brought mats in last week, and I mean, you know, there's a limited space. There's also some of us were not going to go on that mat. The ones that did are doing exercise. You don't want people coming in through the door and, you know, lifting their butts and whatever. So I yeah, think we need to have a privacy issue. Yeah, they, yeah, you know, you want to feel, you know, when you go to these places, if you're doing it privately or in a setting that's conducive, everything around you has adds to the environment. Mm -hmm. So the chairs were not. I didn't feel safe putting my hands on the side and trying to lift myself because I could barely, you know, grab the side. So mm -hmm. right. those need are the kinds of knee chairs that yeah. you, yeah. So mm -hmm. we're, but I would I would do healthy balance, healthy bones and balance, then do a double fit series again, personally. He, um, I, I saw him had somebody on the floor when I went over to DopaFit to bring somebody home, and that shocked me. But you think about it, if you're, if somehow you end up on the floor, you need the ability to get back up again. Yeah. Or what are you going to call nine one one for somebody to come and get you? Call an emergency police. I mean, you know, you know, you get to the I always, she shows you how to do. So that, yoga yeah. has that same part, but I think that's yeah. a very important yeah. piece, even though it probably was a little shocking or maybe out of place. But I think it's a very important piece to be able to get off the ground yourself. Yeah, and, yeah. and maybe there's some way we can try during certain classes or, I mean, cover the glass and just put the say, shades down, you mean? Well, or, or, no, or, I mean, just the door from, yeah. and just say, uh, do not enter class in session or something mm -hmm. because yeah, yeah, yeah. I try well, to walk around and to be quiet this yeah. time. At least we could hear him but before yeah. with the bingo people coming and you know the, it carries it. Yeah. Not that, that they're was, overly that loud, it's carries, just that yeah. it, it, it contributes to yeah. what they, they don't listen and they don't <laughs> read. Yeah. Well with regards to the you know occupational therapists and all the good ideas you had I think it's, we're fortunate to have a good base of people that, have, that, that come in. Take the lead on that. Okay. That would be great. Thank you. You have three months. <laughs> and two, two would be better. <laughs> Only two because the invoice has to be. It has to be young. I mean, and if it doesn't happen this year, we put it on the, the stay right. form of the grant for next year. I yeah, mean, it's, it's something sure that's it an ongoing. That would have a cost anyway. Okay. Because I can imagine you know, it would be a great mercy life thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. And, and yes. I'd like that even better. Yes, um, I did want to mention that the um, diabetes management did not occur. Um, we had one person sign up and then she canceled. Mm -hmm. So um, we are changing it to July. We canceled the series. We're changing it to July and it's going to be held on a Wednesday instead of a Monday. I, I, I think there's already a Monday, like people have a long weekend. I don't know, they, they don't come in on Mondays very often. So I think Mondays, except for the dancing, 
uh, I haven't found out what to put on Mondays but to bring right, people. And, Monday and the walking club, yeah. The walking club is every Monday, that's the only one. And so I haven't figured out Mondays yet. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Uh, on a completely 360 degree, <coughs> I just want to mention that April is Pickleball Month. Oh, wow. I did not know that. I sent an email, by the way, and I haven't heard back. She's um, in I, flight. Is she in flight? That's what I thought. That's what I said. That's what I figured. She's home um, tomorrow. Yes. Hmm. Okay, good. What is this add on down here? The 1302 is. Well, that's our remaining staff. balance for oh, the staff, oh, yeah, oh, for okay. flow and for Darlene. So that's that's approximately okay. what we have left out of the, that we need. Existing. Okay, yes. I thought it was yep. just an yep. add on. Okay. And we can go over that every month in, in my report. I'll make sure that we're we're using the money and not, you know, with the balance. Like she does the balances for all the, the other one. Do you do the balances for the state grant too? No, I don't think so. For the yeah. here, Mark, no, is it there? Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Thank you. Great discussion. And I think we do. You know, we we certainly want to focus yeah. on wellness. To Rainey's point, mm -hmm. and I think things like pickleball and keeping people engaged and active and mm -hmm. healthy bones. I mean, all those, all of our activities are very focused on physical wellness. Mm -hmm. Time to address additional forms. Mental wellness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And emotional at some point, at some level. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So. Okay. Anything else on Joan's report? Okay. Mm -hmm. 15,000, yeah, that was a chunk, huh? Why <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't do things after 9 o'clock at night? <laughs> no, I was this I'm thinking, oh, this is well, happening. This is good. People are coming here to do no, dancing. They're, they're going to be at the uh, church. And then we're going to be at the, uh, going to the conservation committee for fifteen thousand. That would make sense. Yeah, right? you're going. Well, we have the money, and I'm thinking, oh, I don't know. <laughs> if it was fifteen, we would definitely be with. That's but I mean, again, we may not be able to get everything well. that we need for. Oh, okay. But we want to oh, oh. get people engaged up front. And the other thing yeah. with the um, concert, I mean, community preservation, is that oh. at some point, I mean, this is just like oh. an interim step. We'd like to sometime have a community president and build an actual pickleball court mm -hmm. instead of trying to do a makeshift something. Yeah. But let's see how it catches on before we go to them for. Because I mean, I know, yeah, Westfield group. does it. East Hampton's going to yeah. build one at Nantuck Park. I mean, if we have the money, we should yeah. focus what on is this the, actually having a pickleball oh, 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 court yeah. set up. Okay. Well, yeah. just built and the proper base and the yeah, you yeah. know proper oh. dimensions and this is a good stepping stone. And the pickleball in Westfield is that the Y, right? Well, they have they're going to have, have a have Stanley a Park and I mean they're, know, they're going they, all the boys and girls club, the Y, yeah. Stanley Park, and the council just approved 128,000. Council on Aging or the City Council? Uh, the city, city, city Council. Council. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Great. And soon to be a soon to be Mayor Thomason. Mm. All in black. Sure. <laughs> That's a okay. plan. Hope we'll get him out there, huh? That would be something. <laughs> okay, moving right along. Um, directed written report from the treasurer. Mm. Okay, first question is, did people get it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. they did. Yeah. 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 Because mm -hmm. I got so confused. Back? No, no. But I thought in the past when I sent it out to um, the directors that somehow I got a list of the names so oh, the board, oh, yeah, the board. Yeah, yeah, no. and but no, you don't get that. And then I, because I wanted to make sure I had the right address, so I went onto the town website. I couldn't find anything when you list the boards. There was nothing there for the COA. So previously. Yeah, I thought I'd seen it previously, but there wasn't anything there on the uh, email address or even having it listed. And I'm, okay. I looked so many times and I was just crazy, but you got it. That's all I yeah. care Did about. Did you say you had a procedure or something done? Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was before the procedure. Oh, okay. <laughs> but anyway, um, so. This isn't, I will be right up front, this isn't 100% correct, except for the wages, town wages and that. Um, so, and the bottom line is we're doing very well. I think we're, we are either on or ahead of budget. 
but there's some some things that were um, posted as uh, town expenses which should have gone under that it, one of the problems is certain expenses like postage could be posted in three different locations and it's been rather difficult and there's been changing of that and Joan is working with Vicki to get all of that squared the away. Detail reports, right? Yeah, and um, I'm working with Joan so we can, you know, get things re-jiggered in here. Um, and, but the bottom line is we're doing good. Um, so we just got the, what they call the, what are they called? Those are the monthly expense reports. No, no, no. the, the de de detail. The de well, the detail condition of accounts. Um, so we just got them for because uh, you have to ask special for that. You don't ask, you don't get. Um, and I think they're going to help a lot, but there's a lot there. And Joan and I are going to have to go through those item by item, line, yeah. by line, line by line, just as an example. <laughs> that's one. And that's only part of that's one. one. <laughs> so, and you get these for, um, well, we've asked for them for three accounts. And, you know, I think by next month we should be, mm -hmm. you know, squared away on Yeah, because it seems like Joan will submit a warrant for certain, to go a certain place, and Vicki says, no, it shouldn't go there, so she puts it somewhere else, and right. then we don't catch up with our reporting. Our warrant doesn't change, and mm -hmm. yeah. so it's just... So it's pretty confusing. It's, it's understandable, because yes. we do have postage for the formula grant, we do have postage for the expense account, and then we, what, what we finally agreed that it was the revolving account, believe it or not, because we had money coming in for postage, so that money would be coming out for postage. So if it's used for the newsletter. Right. Right. So it is a little bit confusing, but we're going to get this. Wasn't word. the newsletter coming out of the, um, the, the formula state formula? Grant. Correct. So why would it be in the revolving? It shouldn't. It shouldn't. Be. Okay. All right. But the money be. coming in goes to the people that pay goes to the revolving. So we have they have a five dollars. So they pay five dollars to yeah. mail it out. Oh. And so that goes to the Instead revolving. Instead of getting mailing out. $500 worth of mailing every other month like they used to do. It's only on, if you pay $5, you get it. And it, that's going up, as she said, it, uh, to $7. Because mm -hmm. it just doesn't quite cover it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, but, I mean, I think I think the bottom line is good. <laughs> that I think we could be Yeah, we're running to, it. you know, the for the grant, we're, we're running fine. And we have a little bit of overage for the short-term disability but just a couple hundred dollars that isn't covered by the warrant that was set up and um, state formula grant that's what moved us to put our list together of what we have so we can track where we should be by the end of the year that and might be a piece of discussion so the say he's got a week or two that needs to get paid would it come from the Frida grant or would it come from you know could it come from the state formula grant because it's transportation. Um, we, we don't yeah. want to over. Let's talk to Ed about that. If he's okay. if he approves it, then that's if we can take it from the state formula grant. That's that's fine. What do you think? Yeah, because it's not. The more you take out of the formula grant, the less you'll have for usage. Right, but there's a column for transportation in the state fund that we've allocated funds for that. For what do you some mean transportation. transportation well, like it's whether it's mileage when Joan drives somebody to an appointment or somebody else takes somebody. Yeah. So if there, so, there is a category that if we have money left in that category, that we might be able to use that. Right. There was eight hundred dollars. Um, oh, on the state fund. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm thinking Freda when you're no, saying. No, on the state fund. Oh. So any other questions on Joseph's That I can report? or cannot answer. So. <laughs> Thank you. No, it's no. a lot of hard work. I, the numbers. Joseph puts I a lot know. of time into this. And we had, we had an occasion where we had a return. So we had a credit. And the credit wasn't followed through. And so there, and the only way we found out is I'm ordering these kiosks or corrals desks for the computers, these privacy desks. And they wouldn't send them to us because we had a balance, outstanding balance. Of eighty nine dollars, which had been, you know, we had it requested paid right here, 
but it hadn't came through. Through to yeah, the, yeah. yeah, so anyway, it's all being corrected as we speak. Yeah, mm -hmm. great. I make a motion to accept the treasure report. Do I have a second? Second that motion. All in favor? Any other discussion before we go? All in favor? Aye. Okay, oh, great. Thanks, Thank you. All right. Old business. So FY20 budget updates. Um, we've been requested by FinCom to submit a level funded budget, which is easy. That was last year's budget. And we, I went to the last FinCom meeting and asked to be put on the agenda for their, as a, one of the, we weren't invited to present our budget to the FinCom, so I requested that we attend, and that's Monday. I don't know if anybody's available to be there and back up support. It's not a discussion, but Josie, I don't know if you're available Monday evening at 5.30. Uh, I've uh, <laughs> Is that a no? <laughs> Is that the eighth? I'd like to go. Are. I don't know. It's the eighth. It's a post it. We would need to post it if we're if they're yeah. just in the audience. So. Okay. Um, so in the audience, but you can't say anything. What am I doing? More or less. You can whisper <laughs> in Joan's ear. <laughs> Well, I don't think I could do this. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Five thirty. Those usually I, I just want to make sure that they understand what we're looking for, even though we submitted a justification as to why the increase in our numbers and, and share the justification and share the direction for the Council on Aging. So. And where do they meet? Here, I think. Well, no. Um, no, I think it's on the first floor. Yeah, it has yes, to be then because 5.30, Capitals meeting, and yeah. 7 o'clock I have it booked. So, so Monday is uh, well, on the first floor. Yeah. I might be able to get it. Okay. <laughs> it shouldn't be long. It doesn't, you know, they're pretty pretty brief. They're not like the good old days. No. When I was, we, we had some yeah, when, questions. When I was. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have the technology we have now, and it was like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, handwritten stuff, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so we'll again submit the level funded as well, and hopefully we'll get some additional funds to expand the hours of the center. So, so our next meeting is actually our annual meeting based on our bylaws. So just to read from our bylaws real quickly, the annual meeting of the members of the council shall be held the first Wednesday in the month of May for the purpose of nominating members and electing officers and for the transaction of other any other such business. So we will uh, have elections of officers for next fiscal year uh, in the May meeting. Is that going to be the first or the eighth? It should be the first. I think it's the first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a ballot? Is it a written ballot or is it a... Um, I, I don't know that they've ever done a written ballot. No. I'm just curious. I can't vote anyway. <laughs> Sure, you can. Um, yeah. Anything else on the board meeting, then the annual meeting? And Joan, I know I now put a, a little comment in this current newsletter that our annual meeting, because we really want to encourage new people to come in and work as alternates. I think the alternate is working out great. Um, we don't have, and we have a couple terms expiring, and I was just on that page. Where is it? So. In 19, Nilda's term is expiring, and that's the only membership that's expiring right now. So, now I thought, that we've put I thought term Lauren limits. was up too. No, Lauren's. Because um, why do they have you as 2020 online? Can't keep your. Are yeah, you I'm, up on? I'm a fill in for um, Teresa St. Martin. I don't know when. So. Can you check with Lucy because Those, she put you down for 2020? Okay, yeah, I'll check on the way. Yeah, uh, I know. I do administrative remember. assistant was in there talking Darling. to Lucy, and I no, uh, I don't know Nancy. her name. I don't what know the name of the Judy. Uh, yes, uh, Judy. And so then I was in there for something else, and and then she said that Milton and the, and I, you and I okay. were up. So it should be yeah. in the annual report, but I don't even know if the annual report. You know, some of the some of the information on the website is not current. It's June. Uh, 
this year. Yeah, I thought I remember you saying that. I'm looking at just yeah, because I came the in as a replacement it's, for Teresa St. Okay. Martin, so and her term would have ended in June of so 19. So we have Lori yeah. in. You, your term hasn't expired. Your term has expired. When does it? Yeah. At the end of June. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you can come back in a year. Yeah, or right. She's <laughs> gonna be busy dancing, um, doing things. So will you speak to Lucy and have her update the yeah, website? Yeah, I'll, I'll double check her right. Because I don't want to not, you know, I don't want to be voting you in six months from now or voting you out. Oh, you can vote. <laughs> Just seeing if you're paying attention. So again, hopefully, we'll put another blurb in the May newsletter so it comes out a week or so before the annual and try to encourage people to attend because I, I would like some of the seniors to come and, you know. Maybe we should talk it up at bingo and other things too. Just yeah. Because May 1st, I found that things that happen on the first of the month don't, yeah, get don't always get yeah. the, the word yeah. on. Okay. Oh, that um, was. That. So you don't want to continue? You don't want no, to no, no, no. Session? I will continue. It's the election of officers I think she's looking at. Yeah. Oh. The, um, there is somebody, Mary, that I'm trying to uh, encourage to become an alternate. On the board? Mm, I think she'd be really good at it. She would be. They say if you want to get uh, get a job done, give it to a busy person. That's the only problem. A lot of people that <laughs> are, are busy it's already. True. So the um, the other thing that that I don't want to wait to another meeting, which is listed here, is the. Um, an article for the warrant and it may have to go off to the later part of this year or early next year but I did type up two things so back in 2011 the Board of Assessors did pass to increase um, the income limits from whatever it was at that time to 18,000 for single to get the exemption the, the thousand dollar exemption and 20 for married couples, which we Martha went over at the last meeting. So I'm going to just pass these around for, um, for you to kind of take a peek at. Hopefully I have enough. But. Did you just say the, the board approved it? This no? came from the board. The, okay. the one in 2011 was actually submitted as a warrant by the um, Board of Assessors, not by the Council on Aging. So Martha was able to pull that out for us. So I have an either or. and if. And I would share this with the Board of Assessors if you had a preference for one way or the other. And I guess it's up to that board to determine whether or not they go forward with um, putting it on a, on a, on a, on a, at the town meeting. So, do we, do, does, should there be requir minimum requirement? Oh, from, from um, to six, cross out from, I'm sorry, okay. to 65. So there's two two ways to address this. First of all, um, to raise the income level for people to qualify for the exemption. So right now for singles it's 18. Um, it can go up to 20. But for a married couple, couple right now it's 20 and it can go up to 30. So there's not a big differential between single and married incomes. And I don't know the logic behind that. There is a $10,000 spread that's given from the state, but our town has only differentiated by $2,000. So the current, it currently states 18,000 for single and 20,000 for couple to qualify for this exemption, that's income. And that's a pretty low income for, for either person to be living on or both people to be living on. So. I know we talked about it at the last meeting. I put together two proposals for discussion purposes, but I put it in the language of the article that I stole from the 2011 article. Or the other option we can do is to reduce the minimum age to 65 and leave the income levels the same. Um, I think the income levels, you know, for anybody, whether it's 18 or $19,000 is a pretty low income for anybody to live in Western Massachusetts and own a home. And as a married couple, 20,000 I think is extremely low, um, probably close to poverty level. So my recommendation or my suggestion from a discussion standpoint was to up 18 to 19 
and to also increase from 20,000 for a married couple to 25,000 for a married couple for income to qualify for the exemption. And then you also have the option to tie it to this consumer price index so it doesn't stay stagnant for eight years as has been stagnant up to this point. So, can I ask a question? Sure. The, uh, the one that says or, that this, mm -hmm. I'm missing something here. Uh, the last, I think it's so, just actually one sentence. It says here, by reducing uh, yeah, we the took out from, from, I'm sorry. Sure. Requirement from, no, no I, I, my, my, my again, again, I shouldn't do things after 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> I had <laughs> from, from 70 to 65 and just took out the 70 and forgot to take out the from. So got it. it's a typo on Janet's part. So you can't do got both. It. You've got to do Well, we could do both, other. but I think it's a, I think we need to take steps. Okay. That's just my personal opinion. You can. It's not my decision. It's if we want to make a recommendation to the to the board of assessors or not. I, I just don't understand why um, increasing the income limits, the 19 for the single, why not leave it at 18? We could leave it at 18. I think there was one person this past year that just missed the 18,000. Because they made a little too much. They, they made a little bit too much. So, okay. so that, that was my logic. Okay. Um, Do we have any sense of how many more this would? We we don't have capture. records on people's income. Mm -hmm. huh. You know. Um, I do think it's really important. I mean, the numbers that are in place right now make it really tight for people, like for even one or two people. Like, and I mean, I, I agree with you. It would be nice to know which one would, you know, in terms of numbers. But I think even twenty-five thousand is tough for two people. For two people. Yeah. We've talked about that in the past, and we really don't have a handle, but I also think back to Maureen's email recently in terms of a win-win situation. Everything that we do that's even as small is a step that creates a positive, you know? Mm -hmm. right. You can't get there in a big leap, so um, regardless of how many. Right. No, I mean, I just yeah. think it, it does open more of a window for people to be able to, you know, qualify for this. Mm -hmm. Even if it is only five, six thousand dollars, it's still money for people. I think people are going to be wondering, though, like how much what will be the financial impact. And I don't and, know. And if there's no be, way really for us to engage it. And and mm -hmm. I go back to probably last meeting when I said nobody asks anybody when they move into town how many children do you have and how much is it going to cost our town to, you know, are we going to right. Oh, run our taxes because you have too many kids that are moving in. I mean, this is, we don't justify selling homes based on that uh, same kind of expense issue. So, you know, for people to try to live as a married couple on $25,000 a year, mm -hmm. if we want, if our goal is to try to keep people in their homes, we, they've got, we've got to be able to give them opportunities. It's going to, I agree, I wish I could quantify it. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll talk to Martha and see if there's any other way and when we meet. I mean, the, the assessors may um, vote it down. We could always vote to put it on under our name um, if we wanted to do that. But I think to what advocate for What do other towns do? Pardon me? What do other towns do? I, I don't really norm. know. For, yeah, I don't know what the norm is. Do we have a way historically to know what it's what the impact has been for in From the past? You know, and sort of say, this is what we're working with. The potential is an unknown, but it can't leap, you know, in such a, did, I, was it 24 or 29? Well, there are 24, there's two different options. This is for, I think, uh, just 41C, which is the $1,000 option, and that was maybe 13 or 14 people okay. qualified in town. Um, so we're talking $14,000. Um, and it doesn't come out of the general fund, it comes out of the overlay. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, it's really confidentially, I mean, the incomes, we don't, even when people apply for exemptions, even if they get, don't qualify because their income is a little too high, um, it's confidential information. We can't share that, those situations publicly as a, as a board of assessors, so. Um, and they have to apply, right? Yes, they have to. That, oh, right. yeah. so they, they have, have to, to know about it. They have that's another unknown yes, variable. They have to apply every year. They have to provide 
um, documentation to support their income for that year. Um, there's a whole process that they have to go through. It's not an automatic, you know, here's my W-2. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's, it's quite a detailed process, and then it has to be approved. So it's not, it's not a carte blanche. <laughs> That they'd be that many people. Yeah, but, but there know, again, it's, it's a <coughs> people may be too proud to even want to. You know, I mean, that's just, that's certainly yeah, yeah. But because it's confidential, it hopefully, hopes. Yeah, right. yeah. It's, it's a but lot. it's still an option. I mean, it, it's what we were just talking about. It at least opens it up to say <coughs> if it's helpful to somebody. You know, that we've made an adjustment accordingly, or as accordingly as we could. And I think dropping it down to 65, that generation is more conscious, you know, became more conscious as time went on about retirement. And so they probably wouldn't qualify. I think you'd have to They're probably not view that, as many people right, right. As, as the older generation. Well, I would go with the first article. First, I mean, is. Are you comfortable with 19? I don't want to go to 20 because that's the max already. And right. I don't know if 19 will catch any but the additional person we missed or not. But what was the rationale from 20 to 25? the gap for people was, this is just my own rationale, yeah, so yeah. you may be a rational rationale, but it was just, if you're only making 18 and then $2,000 more for a, a married couple just seemed like, yeah, why bother? Yeah. Right. Yeah. What about combining both, changing the income limits and the age? Can I mean, if you're going to go out and propose this, let's jump in. <laughs> well, well, that's a good idea. It, that's give me that again. I you know, change Instead the Instead of or, make it an and. Oh, right. Oh, oh right. Okay. Right. Those and or from. That was, oh, my, that, was, that was my question, but you said you wanted to do little. little well, steps. I don't know whether it's yeah. better to take to take a steps leap. or to just take a leap. Dive, jump in. Take, take a leap, first. and then if they come back and yeah, say. Yeah, give them the, yeah. You know, the. Write the bullet. They're um, not interested. Then we could propose, well, what about if we just do one, one, either or? Yeah, that I like that idea, though. Yeah, I can yeah. do both. Yeah. Yeah. And again, I, I'll, You're testing I'll work waters. with Martha and see if we can do anything to try to check what other areas are doing, mm -hmm. you know, trying to world, rural towns our size and um, if there's any way to quantify anything. I just know that one exception that was made last year and or that missed it wasn't the exception wasn't made but someone that submitted did not qualify by just a tiny bit so i mean it's not it's pretty cut and dry you know it's, so you're a few dollars over it's it is what it is and you yeah. know the board doesn't make emotional decisions so frankly i do like Lori's suggestion of doing both just Jump in, test the waters. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do we, is that a motion of some sort? <laughs> I guess whatever I said. <laughs> is that a second? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Is there any more discussion on, on that? Do we have an all in favor? Yes. Yes. Do me a favor when you stand. Yes. Be very careful. All right. <laughs> Opposed? Abstain? Oh, gets me on my I didn't, didn't know. Like I, I, I didn't, didn't know. <laughs> Everybody's good? Okay. All right. Great. Thank you. All right. I'll, I'll take it to that board and see oh. what their thoughts are. Um, let me see. Anything else? So which we, I guess there's nothing else from the MCOA except the walking club started on, uh, for, yes, through the MCOA. First. And they, they, you're supposed to be journaling what you're walking and then they're trying to walk the uh, circumference of Massachusetts. In the, wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's not just one You person. could sign <laughs> up. <laughs> so you have to sign up for it? Yes. If anybody wants to do that. That was in the March um, newsletter. Does, do, you, do you have to do this outside? No. And walk no, no, in, no. in the house. In the house. Well, however many miles you, you do it in the train. On the train. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I just, 
right. my treadmill would say, ooh. I think there's at least three or four of us on the sign show. Okay, first. good, good. All right. Yeah, anybody else that wants to sign in? It's Do just between now and when? Oh, April 1st. I worry. Yeah, it was, in, it was in the March newsletter, but, oh. and we may have spoke about it the last meeting, but anyway. It, and maybe we can yeah, maybe even mention it at the lunch at the bingo today to see if anybody else wants to log in and sign I, up. And Lynn, well, Lynn from the really MCO, I okay. did touch base with me yesterday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is it, do, are you tracking <laughs> steps or miles? Miles. Steps. Well, eventually it'll be miles. Oh, okay. okay. It starts with right. steps. Oh, steps. <laughs> it starts with steps. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. No, no, that's okay. Uh, you have so how do we have to report this? I mean, like a, I just on, on online. Oh, it's an said. online thing. And so MC online walk. I can track it, it on my phone because I don't yeah. ever know. But we report it. No, 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 Maybe like a rally or something yeah. to get this Good. off the ground. So I, you know, I could do. I'll I'll email you whatever I get. I'll email you because you sign up for one of the two targets, right? Either they're one shorter and one longer. So, is there anything else that anybody would like to add to the agenda? I mean, I do send it out at the end. I don't get any feedback saying please add this item. So I'm assuming that you don't have anything additional to add, but I always like to add that on in case something comes up. If you're spring cleaning, keep a box for the center because their big sale is next month. So. Yeah, if you're... When, is, when are things being accepted? Um, May 1st, so at the next meeting. Oh, my gosh. And what types of things are you looking for? Housewares. Saleable. Mm -hmm. uh, Saleable. Clean, <laughs> not <laughs> broken. You're not doing clothes, though. No clothes. No, no clothes. clothes. Go to the no, no handbags. <laughs> why, why handbags? I, I don't know why they struck that. I have a lot of handbags. I do too. I got a lot of bags I can get rid right of. And they go. I know. I, they they haven't been that many in the past. We've always gotten it. Tell, uh, you know, um, it doesn't even have to be a purse. It could be a, what a is tote bag or yeah, something. Yeah, a lot of stuff that I don't use. I mean, yeah. I used to buy them all the time, and I just and you I can don't want to get rid of them. We never had to get rid of them. I'll mention no that to Andrea. That was a suggestion, but I don't know why I bring them in. What the we heck? don't want luggage, but. Well, let's make sure the friends is okay with it before. I'll, uh, I'll yeah. Yeah. check I'll with Andrea. I think we got some. friends. Get, we got some last year. We put them out, and they sold. Yeah, so yeah. We just give away whatever. So the only thing we know about that you don't want is clothes. Clothes. Clothes yeah. and yeah. Or shoes. shoes. Yeah, shoes. anything like that. Yeah, shoes. Anything else before we wrap it up? At I know. We did. One ten forty-two. I'm going to take. A, I'm going over the tennis court. So you just take a look and see if there's any fresh anybody wants to report you missing. Yeah. Here. And okay, meetings adjourned. Thank you. Okay. Okay. okay, good. The um, the shading thing I think would be interesting. Let me turn on. I'm um, John for your email last week. When I did the